Hello crafty friends, thank you for joining me. Today I am going to be unboxing the Love From Lizzie May 2019 card kit. As always, I will start with the larger package and then take you through the embellishment bag. So starting off with the cardstock, we have five sheets of card and that is pretty typical of these kits. We get five sheets that we can use for matting and layering or we can use them as our card bases, which is usually what I tend to do. The white is a um, Copic friendly, so an alcohol ink friendly white. This yellow is super bright and this blue is a really similar color to, um, to the color of my craft room. It's really nice. So those are our five sheets and then we have two full sized uh, sheets of specialty. So there is the gold um, mirror board and then this pink kind of pearlescent, you can see the light bouncing off it there. And those are full sheets also. Then if we get into the patterned paper, so this is all six by six patterned paper. It's got some beautiful kind of bright and cheery patterns in there. I did have a look through this and they're just lovely. I really like these um, kind of bold, bright patterns. I'm kind of putting my favorites to the front as I work my way through this, but you'll see they are double-sided and so very pretty. This in particular, I love the camera and you'll see that that ties in really nicely with the stamp set. So there's a nice mixture of some bright bold patterns and then some more kind of subtle patterns so it will work really nicely together when you're creating your cards. Again, love this with all the little plants and um, it's a really nice selection to work with. I think the colours are very apt for this type uh, time of year. I don't know about where you are but we have had some glorious weather here in England this past weekend which has been wonderful. I've been sick of the cold so it's nice to have had some really lovely weather. So then we have these stickers. There are so many sheets here. I'm not going to take you through each of them but as I lay them down you'll hopefully get a feel for the different patterns. They are on a um, like a clear backing, so you can see like these sentiments here behind um, behind each of the words. What am I trying to say? <laughs> behind the words is completely clear, so it's not like on a white sticker release sheet. It's actually on like a clear film instead. And then these ones here, they're a little difficult to see in the camera because they are white on a white background. And then we've got some months some cute little bunnies so very sweet and some of these have some foiling on there as well then we have the brand new product to the love from lizzie line you might be looking at this and thinking yeah okay so they're pinstripe peel offs i've seen those before but these are not pinstripes these have got a beautiful little kind of wobbly edge to them. So it's straight along one edge and then it's got this lovely little pattern. And these, these are the Love From Lizzie Sway peel offs, but much in the way that I have in my mind renamed the pinstripe peel offs to poorly pinstripe. These in my mind will forever be the wiggly woos. That's what pops into my head when I see them, but they are the Sway peel-offs and they're in a beautiful bright yellow. Then we have the Love From Lizzie stamp set for this month. It's following on with kind of the camera imagery. So we've got a couple different cameras, Smile, You Make Me Smile, Hello, and Oh Snap, which is maybe my favorite. And then we have a couple of little kind of florals and um, heart icons which would make a really nice background kind of stamped repeatedly all together. So that is everything from the large bag. I'll grab the embellishment bag and dig into that. So here we have five skinny ribbons. We've got a yellow, kind of a lavender, black, white, and like a peachy color. And um, these are the skinny ribbons. They're so nice and easy to work with. And we haven't had those in a kit for a while, so it's nice to see those. I made the mistake of unwinding them, so <laughs> now it's difficult to get them all on the screen nicely. But there we go. Then we have the Nouveau Drops. These are the Jewel Drops in Honeysuckle. 
really nice and again just perfectly colour coordinated. Speaking of colour coordinated, we have the sample size of the Love From Lizzie sequin mix. If you are interested in the larger size, it's available as an add-on. And I'll have some images at the end of this video of the coordinating add-ons for this month's kit. Then we've got these little leather bows. These are on a little foam square or a foam rectangle in the background. So they'll be popped up off your card and they're so nice. They've got a really nice cute factor I guess but also some texture. Then we have these little, they're almost like flowers, um, again on a little pop dot and they add a really nice amount of texture. They're so fun. I'm not sure what I'm going to use them for yet but they are very cute and very fun. Then we've got a whole selection of puffy hearts. So these aren't puffy heart stickers, these are just puffy hearts as they are. Those two are kind of layered together, which gives me a nice idea. That'd be a cute look. Um, so you can just go ahead and glue these down on your card front, front, or you can include them inside an envelope. I think they'd be a nice little addition inside an envelope as well, just to kind of drop out as somebody pulls the card out of the envelope. Kind of like those little like confetti surprises that people sometimes put into their cards. Only this would be a little bit easier to pick up off the floor because you know if you send someone one of those confetti cards, they're going to be like, oh, it's it's lovely, but now I need to hoover my house, so thank you. <laughs> then for the dies, we have a selection of hearts. Really pretty looking. This one is teeny tiny. I'm going to set him inside here so he doesn't get lost on the desk. So we have those dies and also a thank you. So at this point, you might be wondering, why do we have all of this space? Why have I tried to cram everything over here and left all this space for the final piece? It is because we have a whole bunch of ephemera. I love ephemera. Some of this is just so stinking cute. It is unbelievable. Um, but I love ephemera for a quick and easy card and um, they're really fun to work with. Some of them have got some foiling. These are kind of pre-die cut, so you can pop all of those pieces out. There's tags, there's sentiments. I mean, I, I don't actually have enough room here to lay everything out without kind of layering everything, like one on top of the other, so do forgive me. Um, but this could take up my entire desk, kind of as it is. It is so very pretty and so easy to just stick down onto your card, layer it up and create a nice little element on the front, maybe get some shine going on there, very apt with the sentiment being shine, and these little pieces that you can stamp on and you can layer up. So there's a whole bunch here that has got like a white or a black background to it. Look at this little bunny, he's too much. <laughs> so there's kind of that whole section there which is beautiful. I really love these ones. But then also there is an entire other color palette based on craft. So we can kind of go through these again and we've got sentiments, we've got background panels. This I absolutely love. It's so simple but I really love that. And um, Again, these pieces are pre-die cut, so you could pop them out and do some colouring and then inlay them back in or use whichever technique that you like. I think it'd be really interesting, particularly for this large flower here. So you can work within the more black and white colours or you could use the craft if you prefer. And that is everything for the card kit. I do have one of the add-ons here in front of me and I'll show you some still shots at the end of some additional add-ons. So here is my add-on. It is the craft sticker pack. We've got a full alphabet on one side and then on the other side we've got a couple different icons. So again, really similar to the ephemera pieces. I love that this piece is included in a slightly smaller size because I'm in love with that and um, yep just like the ephemera except they are already sticky and because they're stickers they're a little bit thinner these ephemera pieces are really nice and sturdy. So quickly switching over to voiceover Laura. Hi how are you? 
On screen, I have some of the add-on items. I showed the craft stickers, which I have, and in just a second, you're gonna see the washi tape, which I have definitely gone ahead and ordered because I didn't see it at first, and it is stunning. Just look at that camera. I love that set of washi. Of course, the full-size sequins and some specialty papers, and then I'll take you through a couple still shots of the kit. As I mentioned, if you've got any questions at all, do leave them in the comments section below. And if you're interested in purchasing any of the products that you've seen today, go ahead and click on the links in the description below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click the subscribe button and tap the bell if you want to be notified each time I post a new video. On screen right now are a couple more videos that I think you might enjoy. If you haven't already watched them, go ahead and click on the thumbnail and it will take you straight through to those videos. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.